There's two questions that you have to factor on our test. Let's take out our earbuds, please, and put away our phones. All right, so step number one, is it set equal to zero, yes or no? All right, so what would be my A, B, and C? A is two, B is 11, and C is 12. Go ahead and make your box. Two W squared goes here and 12 will go here. You always put the A in the top left and C in the bottom right. So make your X, go ahead and finish that out y'all. When you get an answer, I will check it for you. numbers that multiply to 24 but add it to 11. Eight times three. So we're going to put that in the other two squares. So multiply to 24, add to 11 would be eight times three. So in this box, you have a two, a W, a W. And in this box, you have 
a three and a W. And then you have a four times two and a three times four. Oh, and this one you got a W too. All right, so when we take out our GCFs, we have a two W that we can take out here, a three. And then when we go here, we got a W and a four. So let's go ahead and set both of those equal to zero. Two W plus three equals zero and W plus four equals zero. So your two solutions would be W equals negative three over two, which is the same as negative 1.5 and W equals negative four. Let's go ahead and plot those points. So you're just gonna put a point, where do you think negative 1.5 is gonna go? In between what two numbers? Yeah, negative one and negative two, yep. So I'm gonna put a point right here, and then a point right here, and then you just make a sketch. So where it says factors, you're gonna put your two W plus three, and the W plus four. For your zeros, that's X equals negative 1.5, and X equals negative four. All right, we'll do a couple more and then you can use the rest of the period to work on your study guide. I am giving extra credit for it tomorrow. I don't collect it, I just give extra credit for it. All right, let's look at this next example. Now we're gonna just look for our GCF. What is my greatest common factor? It's already set equal to zero. What's my GCF that I can take out of both of those? We could take out an X, anything else? Three. So we're gonna take a three X out of both of those. So if I take that three X out, I'm left with X minus four. So that would be your factors. All right, now let's solve them. Set them both equal to zero. Three X equals zero and x minus four equals zero. Go ahead and solve that for x. So for this first one, Three x equals zero, how would you solve that? This means three times x equals zero, so we're just gonna divide both sides by three. Zero divided by three is zero. So we're gonna put our first point right here. For the second one, x minus four equals zero. You're gonna add the four. and you get x equals four. Go ahead and put a point at the four and make your smile, and that's it. do just a couple more. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, so this next one is the same. We can skip over that one on page 16. All of these are taken out of GCF, so we'll do a couple more. Let's go to page 16 and do this one. 3x squared minus x equals zero. So you have 
a 3xx minus a 1 times x equals 0. So what's the GCF that I can take out of both of those terms? They both have an x. So let's take out the x. <clears throat> and then that's going to leave you with 3x minus 1. So that would be your factors. x times 3x minus 1. All right, set them equal to zero. So x equals zero, that would be your first solution. And then for your second one, that one is gonna be a fraction. So go ahead and solve that. So to solve this third one, or the second one, you're gonna add one. and then divide by three. So go ahead and put your point at zero and one third, but that's pretty much like right next to each other. You really, cause they're like right next to each other. That's not really a good example cause the zeros are so close to each other. They're almost like at the same spot. That's a little bitty baby parabola. All right, go ahead. Everyone should be working on your study guide for the rest of the class period. I do want to show you where you can find the answer key, though. The answer key is already posted on Canvas. So everyone should have out your study guide and start working through it. And I might check at the end of the class.